Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Peters. I'm a neuroscientist. I was a co-author of a book, Evidence-Based Horsemanship with Martin Black. And I'm really excited because uh, I've developed a relationship with Sarah and she's fantastic. I, I met her through Warwick Schiller actually. And her, I don't wanna tell you about her background. She'll tell you, but this is, we feel like we're really bringing some puzzle pieces together. Uh, my background as a neuroscientist, talking about neurochemicals, not just in your horse, but in you and how they interact. Um, but I don't wanna give away too much of the, the puzzle. Just know that we're working on combining all these elements and then bringing you in here to ask questions and uh, to teach a course together. So I'll let Sarah tell you a little bit more about that. Fantastic. Thanks, Steve. It's been really cool to connect. We've just came off of a, a two hour brilliant conversation that we're both kind of hitting our heads wishing we'd hit record on sooner. Um, talking about neuroscience and trauma and horse human relationships and horse brains and human brains and nervous systems and attachment and, and psychology and just really nerding out over here in our respective patches of the world and realizing, you know, we probably should create something of value for horse people everywhere who want to learn a little bit more from a, an inter, um, interdisciplinary approach that isn't um, approach specific. So um, this isn't about this person versus that person, this approach versus that approach. Um, we're really wanting to kind of combat guru culture here. We know the industry is full of that stuff uh, where you know the left hand and the right hand don't really talk to each other and there's a lot of ivory tower syndrome. So what Steve and I are kind of doing is coming together and creating a series of workshops or modules on a number of different topics that can be applied regardless of what your background is to help enhance um, and uh, expand upon your understanding of what's going on for your horse and for yourself. Um, so it's kind of like getting... Some people have said before that it's like couples therapy for you and your horse. That's not language I ascribe to, but it's certainly kind of a better understanding of how can we help this relationship be different by understanding some of the neuroscience and the psychophysiology and breaking really complex concepts down into really accessible maps for everybody so that you can apply what is normally really complicated in a really practical way. This should be really empowering because you can rewire your brain. We know this neuroplasticity is the term and you can rewire your horse's brain. So we're going to try to explore that whole area where we come up with a good combination uh, and you yourself will be the scientist. We'll just provide you with the information to go out there and apply. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like you were saying, Steve, it's a series of neural exercises. How can we increase our own awareness of our own stuff, increase our awareness of our horse's stuff, and then use practical felt sense experiences that are grounded in the body, grounded in our understanding of the nervous system to help ourselves and our horses through situations of conflict or problems that normally get us entangled that we kind of get frustrated about uh, and that are so easy to write off as being, oh, well, the horse has this problem or, you know, what's wrong with me or what's wrong with the horse. And like, like you know, let's, let's look, let's take the broader view here. Let's, let's have a lens, a trauma lens on what's going on, a neuroscience lens on what's going on for you and your horse and see if we can <clears throat> use some very practical, but also evidence-informed information to, to guide where we go from here. So this isn't about um, diagnosis or necessarily um, prognosis, but more about, hey, here's some practical bits and pieces so that you can be, like you said, Steve, a scientist, or you can be your own, a better detective of what's going on, being curious about elements that you may not have been aware of happening for you, happening for your horse, uh, and how can we go from there? So- And the format that you can bring back whatever's going on with your horse and with you, back to, to a, a format where we can discuss it and take a look at it together and in a non-judgmental format because we're all humans and a horse is just a horse. So that's where we're gonna go from. 
And for those of you who want to take this information further, because neither Steve nor I are acting in a psychotherapeutic capacity, this is largely educational, um, some of you may discover that you want to go deeper with some of this material. So we'll be able to point out for you, um, giving you a lay of the land of where the different neurophysiological trauma therapies are located. How do you go about selecting a little anxious in the saddle and you wonder why, you know, there are actual therapies out there that work with those responses to help you through some of that. Um, and how can you also help your horse through some of those bits and pieces as well. So there's lots of information we have to share. Uh, and hopefully this will provide um, a really eye opening, uh, expansive opportunity for for some new knowledge to enter your awareness in a, in a practical way. A concrete example, you come off your horse, well, I'm just going to get back up on my horse, except your body's telling you, well, now my heart rate's a little faster and I'm breathing differently and my horse is reacting to me differently and I'm using positive self-talk, but I'm not getting anywhere with that. That's a puzzle. We can sort that, that all out and we will. Yeah. So uh, I hope, hope you'll join us. Looking forward to it, Steve, and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you as well. And we will have some dates for you very shortly, but we wanted to get to know from you, from your standpoint and your experience, what do you want to learn about? Steve and I have some predetermined topics that we want to get at, but we wanted to know from you. So if you wouldn't mind putting some comments below about what you'd like to learn about, what are, what's piquing your interest, what are you curious about? And we'll gather up the, the ones that we can address and we'll use that to guide our, our series that we're going to be releasing in the next few months. I'm going to help you create lots of new dendrites in your brain. <laughs> new synapses, new connections. Yes. Yes. Looking forward to it, Steve. Thank you for your time today. And we will be in touch with you soon. So stay tuned. Stay tuned.